30, a father and his three family members saved in a risky rescue off the coast of Marshfield. The men were off Brant Rock when their boat started to take on water. And crews battled rough seas, cold water, and high winds to bring all four of them to safety. WBC's Bill Shields is live in Marshfield with the story tonight. Bill? Can you imagine you're the Gonzalez family of Brockton? You buy a used boat. Yesterday was a pretty nice day, a little windy, but pretty nice. You put in here in Brant Rock in Marshfield. An hour later, off of Plymouth, your boat starts to sink. You make a 911 call on your cell phone. The Marshfield police finally find them. My whole obligation out of the whole thing was just to make sure my father was all right. A father and son hugging today after nearly losing their lives Wednesday evening. She just sunk, just went right down. I'm looking at the uh, bow and I said, oh my God. This is the Gonzales boat yesterday, sinking off of Plymouth. Four people were on board as Marshfield police got to them. And then when we pulled up next to the boat, it immediately sank like a rock. Uh, it had four people on board, two people kind of just floated out of the boat. Uh, and then there were two people that were trapped inside the boat as it sank. Only the canvas top of the boat was above water. Under it, Stanley Gonzalez and his son Anthony trying to push his dad to the surface. I was taking breaths going underwater, making sure my dad would stay afloat. But then there was a canvas top that was halting him from being able to come up out of the water, and the chief acted very quickly. I was able to rip the canvas off the top of the boat uh, and grab the father. Um, he was underwater. With three of the four Gonzalez family members on the Marshfield boat, Anthony was still missing. Then he surfaced in the 45-degree water. Without the Brand Rock uh, Harbor Masters coming out there and Plymouth coming out there, we wouldn't have survived. And he's exactly right because it would have been one, maybe two or three minutes later, that boat would have been underwater. The Marshfield police would have been looking on the horizon for a boat, not seeing one, wouldn't have known it, probably would not have seen the people floating in the water. It would have been difficult. Reporting live from Marshfield, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Thank goodness they're okay, Bill.